tarnished, are we? Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring, hmm? Of course you have. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. Dark fantasy is a subgenre of fantasy that combines elements of horror with elements of, well, fantasy. Although it's usually literature that takes a hold of this subgenre, there's also been some great anime, TV shows, and video games as well. If you're looking for an example of what dark fantasy would be, think Game of Thrones and stuff that's similar to it. As a huge fan of fantasy books and games, I've gone on a search to find some of the best dark fantasy video games that you can play right now. Be warned though, some of these are not for the faint of heart or queasy of stomach. Dark fantasy is known for its gore, sometimes gross visuals, and often disturbing moments. But if you like a good thrill, then it's perfect for you. My name is Zayna, and you're watching the DZSH Group. If you like these kinds of videos, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Turn on notifications so you never miss another upload. And without a further ado, let's get into the rest of the video. For number 5, we've got A Plague Tale Innocence. A Plague Tale Innocence is a horrifyingly good game with a very, very dark story playing throughout. We've got the plague gripping medieval France, and at the center of it are two siblings, Amicia and Hugo. The Inquisition is after them, and they must survive through the plague-ridden world of Europe. The game is full of dark and suspenseful moments and emphasizes stealth gameplay in order to survive. Players can sneak around killer hordes of rats, evade enemy Inquisition soldiers, and use resources around them to escape the danger. A Plague Tale is gripping and exciting. This game can get really disturbing at times, but as a dark fantasy, it's phenomenal. The story builds up quite well, and the game itself does look stunning. There are very few games out there that can really chill you the way this one does. You can play A Plague Tale Innocence on Xbox Game Pass right now. If you want to know more about Xbox Game Pass, check out the link in the description below where you can read our full review on if Xbox Game Pass is worth it in 2022. Coming in at number 4, we've got The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. The Witcher series is a quintessential staple of the fantasy genre in video games. Due to its dark nature though, it's definitely a great example of what a dark fantasy game is. The Witcher stars Geralt of Rivia, and the third installment is the most popular one to date. The Wild Hunt are terrifying, but awesomely designed, and the magic is strong in this game for sure. Players can use swords, other weapons, and magic to maneuver around the world, fighting off enemies and taking on many jobs. There's a lot of well-written characters and the game itself is stunning. There's a lot to love about The Witcher. Plus, did you know that a wild hunt is from mythology and some old lore? It's perfect for mythology lovers out there to take a dive into. Like every other game on this list, it's definitely not for those that are easily queasy, but it's loads of fun. At number 3, we've got Dishonored. This game is one of my favorite of all time. It's not only exciting, but it's got some great action, wonderful stealth, and some heavy themes. Of course, this has to get on a list for dark fantasy any day. A city gripped by the plague with the backdrop of a corrupt cult of shadow assassins and an industrial feel is perfect for this list. Dishonored stars Corvo Atano, a bodyguard for the late Empress who must kill a group of traitors and help the Empress's daughter Emily take her rightful place on the throne. There's plenty of magic in this game, which is why it lands in the fantasy category. And yeah, the magic is crazy fun. The assassinations are intense and the player can take on different styles of play including lethal and non-lethal takedowns. This can really impact the way other characters perceive Corvo and change the course of the game's ending. Be warned though, it's a brutal one. For number two, we've got Elden Ring. Elden Ring is a new contender to, well, the ring, no pun intended, and has swept the gaming world by a storm. And it's also the perfect Soulsborne game for our list. Soulsborne games are amazing dark fantasy titles that really put a challenge in their design. Elden Ring is by far one of the best out there, with amazing visuals, exciting gameplay, and brutal fights. It's sure to be enjoyable and awesome. It's also difficult, but rewarding once you finish it. It's one of the best games that 2022 has had to offer so far. Elden Ring takes place in the Lands Between, a fictional place ruled over by several demigods. The Lands Between used to be ruled by an immortal queen called Marika, who was the keeper of the Elden Ring. However, she shattered the ring and vanished, leaving her demigod children to fight over finding pieces of the ring. The player's character is an exile named the Tarnished, who must repair the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord. 
And finally, at number one, we've got The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. The peak of fantasy RPG games is at Skyrim for sure. Skyrim is one of the most popular games ever made, and for good reason. It's replayable, exciting, and can be modded to pure glory. No playthrough needs to be alike with mods. Plus, its gritty dark world and violent visuals set in an epic fantasy make for a perfect dark fantasy title. If you haven't tried out Skyrim yet, you're really missing out on a ton. Its main story focuses on a customizable character called the Dragonborn who must go on a quest to defeat Alduin the World Eater, a dragon who's prophesized to destroy the world. Players can take on many quests, join different groups, and explore the map to their heart's desire. That's all for today's video. Let us know which one on our list was your favorite. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss another upload. Until next time, this is Zayna, signing off at the DZSH Group.